VR for me is like, oh no, that's the house. I really like Beat Saber. Mm -hmm. And I really like, you know, those kind of those fun little gimmick things that it offers. Yeah. But I've never been like, man, I really want to just stay in this for six hours one afternoon and just play a, like an RPG or something. Like, would it be cool to literally mm -hmm. be the Witcher? Probably. It'd be cool to like feel like I'm holding a sword and mm -hmm. blocking a you know another guy with a sword with my shield, like maybe like a Skyrim situation or something. Yeah, that conceptually sounds kind of cool. But then you see the games that do that, and like they're getting better these days. But like especially the mm -hmm. beginning, it's like stick figures basically. Yeah, well, and I think there's also always going to be kind of like like will will we as people forgive a lot if we get to feel like we're Geralt of Rivia or something like that? <laughs> yes. At the same time, Geralt of Rivia is what like two hundred years old. Like how old is he? Um, he's old and he's he's spent more than my entire lifetime training. Oh yeah, and he for is... us like playing Witcher VR would be like swinging our right arm back and forth. Mm -hmm. Whereas like him, yeah, he's like doing acrobatics and flipping yeah. and slashing an actual like heavy metal mm -hmm. weapon. And yeah, we yeah. Can, we can't actually do that. No, so it would never actually yeah. be a true like Witcher experience. Exactly. Like that's that's my thing. Is like, is it cool to like stand there and like have a lightsaber and like deflect some things in like the Star Wars VR game? Yes, it is cool. Um, at a certain point, though, I want to do the cool flips and cool like other things that Cal Kestis is doing, and I can't. I physically can't do that in a <laughs> VR space. You know, <laughs> um, like I am not going to be flipping around and like stabbing a stormtrooper and then rolling over it their back you know like that's just not going to happen uh, and so there's always like you're always going to be limited by the fact that we are just normal people <laughs> so um so it's not it's not ever going to be like I think once the the newness kind of wears off of like, ooh, I'm in VR. I don't think people stick around for the long term because I don't think I don't think most people play video games to feel like they are this <laughs> to feel exactly like they do in real life, but like wearing a headset and holding like a <laughs> a, a controller. I think we play Damn. video games for a bit of escapism, mm -hmm. and I don't think you are going to have that escapism if you are, oof, if you are constantly being reminded that, oh, I am just a regular person here. Yeah. Yeah, I think VR... I am in my living room. Yeah, VR experiences will be very, like, specific, probably, and they'll always just kind of be a just another thing you can do but yeah i don't mm -hmm. think they're ever going to replace like what i'm doing here you know you can yeah. you could never really emulate this in vr like she's running it probably mm -hmm. like 40 miles an hour or something exactly like it would be like really cool to like play x-wing like star wars squadrons or something you know that would be pretty dope that's a vr game be, like in the first yeah it is it is i think playstation vr mode or something like that or yeah at least i think it, it i think it was made as a vr game and then they mm -hmm. decided hey you know what we could probably make more money if we put it on like consoles too and so they did exactly because that's like you're sitting in a chair you're you can have like the vr stuff like the controllers to like move stuff like get your throttle and do the flight stick and whatever um and that would feel pretty cool um but any anything you're having to like physically move around it's like that's going to be limited yeah um so well because even like half-life alex and stuff i'm pretty sure you still like you like teleport around or you whatever telep like i think they have lots of different options and ways you can play because yeah if you're legit like trying to move in vr it's very motion sickness inducing mm -hmm. so i think yeah you can either walk with like a control stick or you can teleport or whatever they have like all these things and so then when, when you're doing that it's like yeah i'm not i am not fully this character but 
it feels really cool to pull an ammo like a clip or whatever out of your pocket slide it into your gun cock it back you know reload it you know kind of like it feels to play like those shooting games at the arcade or whatever it's just another level Mm. of immersion or whatever but yeah Mm. it's still not you're not realistically i mean if if you were realistically doing what these games were asking of you you would be like a navy seal or something exactly exactly so i think there's always like gonna be a bit of that which is fine you know like it's not something that they you know vr can't magically make us all have the physique of navy seals i also (laughs) i also wonder if this conversation that we're having is kind of born from the thing we like the whole reason we started this project where it's like who is really saying that vr is like the way of the future and really pushing it Mm -hmm. it's like it's your greg millers like it's your yeah it's your industry level it's the industry people Mm -hmm. and it's like i don't even know if that's what the vr companies are like wanting i mean i've never spoken with one so i can't say for sure but like Mm -hmm. It's not your average consumer, your average gamer. It's yeah. like, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like, I feel like, like you said, many, of, like the average gamer, if VR is around, they may think like, oh, that's cool. You know, like Beat Saber is fun. I see it being kind of like, it's a party game. It's like the future of party yeah. games. Well, I, I see it being similar to like how the Wii was, where it's like, mm-hmm. you know, you went over to a friend's house and you, you played Wii Sports and the parents were like, oh, that's kind of cool. And so they got themselves like a little um, like a Wii and Wii Sports and like they played it a few times a year and that was it, you know, like mm-hmm. and it was never like a big deal. And like, um, you know, did it did it make Nintendo so much money? Yes. Um but like you go back and you look and it's like yeah the Wii technically ha- or the Switch technically has motion controls does anyone ever really use them you no, know not unless uh, they have to yeah yeah and so like a lot of the you know like oh this is the future of games stuff is like no that's just what like you said like the industry people who are kind of out of touch with maybe the average gamers you don't have the same uh, are thinking so most of them are out of touch yeah they're off in their own little bubble and they just i mean they all most of them live in the same place geographically they all hang out together Mm -hmm. yeah i mean it's not necessarily i'm not blaming them for being out of touch but it's just like it just it is it is what it is yeah like just like when you're surrounded by all of that and you you have all of the most recent consoles and you can go and you can try out vr stuff and like yeah like you're you're that tuned into like you know tech um yeah maybe it does seem like vr is the future but at the same time like how many how many people are playing like we saw news this week about like xbox confirming that project keystone is their cloud gaming like streaming stick like i don't know that they had ever announced officially that they were they were having like a streaming stick it's now official like how many how many people are just going to play streamed game you know like Mm -hmm. yes there are going to be like your your industry people your your hardcore audience that wants the most powerful console and wants the you know the best possible graphics and sound and frame rate and whatever uh and yeah, then the, there are you got people that still people. have 1080p tvs and like <laughs> yeah they only want to play madden or whatever <laughs> mm-hmm. exactly and like you, you're gonna have plenty of people who are like oh a 50 dollar like streaming stick yeah that's good enough i don't care if it's getting like 60 frames per second i don't care if it's in 4k i don't care if it's got dolby whatever whatever you know like (laughs) you're calling out that's gonna be yes (laughs) that's gonna be the average um and you know everybody is allowed to like what they like and i'm not hating on anybody that wants the the biggest and the best we call those people pc gamers Uh, and they're maybe a bit pretentious uh but (laughs) but you know it's 
it doesn't matter to the average person, <laughs> you know? Well, it's like, I recently got a new TV, right? Mm-hmm. And this new TV is supposed to have all these, like, features for games and a higher refresh mm-hmm. rate and all this stuff, and it's bigger. And yeah, I could tell that the, the screen is a little nicer and mm-hmm. it's bigger. But other than that, it's like if I was still playing on my old TV, I don't think I would have an like a different experience at all playing Elden Ring or mm-hmm. playing anything else that I'm playing. Like it's all Yeah. All basically exactly the same. Like people who get mm-hmm. and I, I'm definitely a hobbyist like when it comes to audio and podcasting and things like that so i totally understand Mm -hmm. people like get real caught up in the minutia i mean there's people who get like real caught up in the minutia of like keyboards for example Mm -hmm. yeah and so you can do it with anything but like just like we're talking about for the average person i mean like i said there are people still out there just rocking a 1080p like tv Mm -hmm. that they bought back in 2013 and that's what they're playing their games on you know yeah like i'm playing a tv that was yeah like you probably 2015 2015 maybe exactly 2016 something like that there's nothing wrong with that and i think it's really easy it's really easy for me to get caught up in a lot of the shit that like tim for example is talking about because i like Mm. having the new shiny thing oh yeah but so often when i do upgrade to it and like a, Mm -hmm. a new console is one thing yeah but like the new tv for example it's like was this really worth it no probably not mm-hmm. and for me it was well, like my did. other tv died so yeah that's not, your other tv died that's so. not the best one-to-one but like if i had gone out and done that mm-hmm. just to have better tech you know like yeah uh, i would well, probably and, be kind of bummed out honestly yeah well i think you you recognize too that like when you're talking about it it's like not everyone needs to rush out and it's like oh oled tvs are now you know slightly more affordable or whatever mm-hmm like not everyone needs to rush out and get an oled you exactly. know like you're gonna be fine you're gonna have like a vast majority of people are not gonna notice a difference in in the quality and if you are one of the people that does notice it or you're like that's your hobby that's your thing you like having the newest tech like that's fine like there are plenty of people that every time apple announces a new iphone or anytime like there's a new samsung galaxy or whatever they trade in their old phone they get the new phone that's fine people are you know like if that's your thing go for it i'm gonna rock this iphone until it's literally dying uh (laughs) you know exactly and then i will upgrade i used Uh, to be that person when i was in my teens but now i'm like i yeah i'm gonna rock this phone forever Uh, i think a lot of that too is that specifically for like phone and i think tv technology too and now at this point Mm -hmm. it's like it's not advancing that dramatically anymore mm-hmm. like you remember yeah. the like the jumps the from jump like from like the original iphone, iPhone 3 to, the, to iphone yeah, 5 exactly. ridiculous now it's like they're, they're now they're removing features when you jump you know yeah, now they're really trying to like upsell <laughs> it's like oh there's an extra three pixels in the camera it's like i don't mm-hmm. give a shit i do not take pictures <laughs> with yeah. mine yeah it has three Welcome lenses to- on the back exactly Welcome to the grumpy old man stream. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> like really embracing it. Oh no. Yeah, I mean, it just it is what it is. Mm-hmm. I do think that we may be kind of at that point on the verge where like technology is about to make another big jump and it'll be like, yeah. Oh yeah, if you buy this new TV, like it's going to really change your movie watching mm-hmm. and gaming experience. But we're not there right. right? Everything is very iterative right now. Mhm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's very It's very okay, you know. Like there's uh This is not the the jump from CRT to like Exactly. <laughs> you know, 720 or 10 LCD, is... yeah. Yeah, this is this is the jump from LED to OLED. Yeah, which like oh the the black pixel or like when black is on the screen it looks better or like the whites <laughs> like the contrast is better or the colors pop better or whatever and it's like that's cool. 
but it's the average person is not going to be like i need a new tv because of this exactly you know? yeah so so that was our uh, i think that was all started by uh playstation and vr yeah i don't know how uh, we got there but i feel like uh i feel better after that conversation i feel like a weight has yeah. been lifted <laughs> right well any conversation where i get to kind of like be like yeah playstation you're not that great uh this is a good one in my book mm. um any conversation where i get to just be an old man yeah you know let's like, talk uh, about uh you kids and your two. old lads <laughs> Yeah. Now, granted, we are talking to somebody who traded in his old Switch to get the OLED Switch. So, like, you know, okay. take it with a grain of salt. But I, <laughs> I, I got the new Switch for like seventy dollars, sixty, seventy dollars, or something, yeah. because I traded yeah. in and because I had like coupons and stuff. Like, I, it was very intentional. But yes, that is a good point. And I get, like I said earlier, I get caught up in it, in like wanting the new shiny thing. <laughs> 